Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing another entry into the Foundation Friday series, and we are going to be reviewing the It Cosmetics Your Skin Better CC Cream Plus SPF 50. So, if you're interested and want to know my opinion on this foundation, see how it worked out the week, stay tuned. Let's get my only kind of criticism out of the way with this foundation, and that criticism is, <laughs> let me grab them all is the shade range. I own three colors. I own fair light, I own light, and I own fair. Light, too dark, too yellow. Fair is too light, too yellow. Medium light is a pinch, too dark, and too pinky orange. So I mix one pump fair light to a quarter pump of fair, and I get the color that I have on now, which is it perfect? No. Is it passable? Yes. If I spend more time kind of shearing it out on the perimeter of my face, lighting up the center with a concealer, I can make it look spot on. But for this, for being in quarantine and not going anywhere, this is good enough for me. So I had every intent on wearing a primer this week and every day when I get ready to do the makeup, I have everything laid out here in my like little beauty get ready station and um i would just forget to grab it and put it on that being said like no primer on now i feel like it looks great um i've worn it this week over my basic skincare and sunscreen um and i was happy with it like no breakthroughs no settling no weird wear it just wore really really well back when i was still working retail um and I would wear a primer with this. I had a few that I really like, so I'll share those with you because I know these all wear really well with the CC cream. My first pick, I feel like will be the most versatile and it allows, it will give the most people most range and that is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is really good if you just need to kind of smooth out some pore skin texture and you need a tiny bit of hydration. This isn't massively hydrating, but it will give you a smooth canvas to put your foundation on top of. If I need something to stick, like if I am having a very oily stage or um, I just had a chemical peel and my skin is smoother than normal and things aren't adhering very well, I'll use the It Cosmetics Oil-Free Primer because I find this does pretty well with helping things stick to the skin. So I would use this under the CC cream. I love Love, love the Hourglass Mineral Veil. This is really good for smoothing texture, controlling oil, and helping whatever you put on top of it last. It works beautifully with the sun, with the CC cream, and I love it for usage with the CC cream as well as most every other liquid foundation for people with kind of more normal to oily skin. It just does really well at keeping oils at bay and helping things last longer. So Hourglass Mineral Veil plays really, really well with the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I don't have anything negative to say about the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I've had it in my collection for the last four to five years and it's a great product. It does well. It wears well. Um, only complaint I have, like I said before, is the shades. When I would hit the 10 to 12 hour mark, I was normally getting ready to go to bed. So I was in my washroom, getting ready to take off my makeup, and I would look in the mirror and I would notice sometimes kind of like right through here, through like the smile line side of the nose, occasionally on the corner of the eye, there would be a little bit of wear. So a little bit of settling, um, but the one night I tried to fix it, I just kind of patted over it and kind of smoothed over. Everything was fine and it was easy. So for wear, I have no issues with it. There are two other variants of the CC cream. So you have the CC Plus Illumination, which comes in a pink tube. And there's also the oil-free CC cream, which is like a turquoise and that's like a matte version. I feel like the illuminating is better for kind of normal to dry skin. It's slightly more hydrating. It has more of like a luminous finish. So it makes people with a drier skin type look a little bit fresher and a little bit more glowy. Um, the I, <laughs> I bought the mattifying one. And for me, it was just too matte. And I felt like it had more coverage because it was more of a 
This is very kind of like a lotion-y cream texture where the matte CC cream was more of like a whipped texture and I found it to be way too heavy. Yeah, the matte one just wasn't for me, but if you have a very oily skin, you want more coverage than the original and you want a matte finish, you might really enjoy the matte one. I wanna throw in some mini reviews to this Foundation Friday and kind of let you all know my feelings on a few more products. And the look I wore this week was very It Cosmetics heavy because I ordered some stuff a while back, never used it, and now here I am creating content to share and I'm like, oh, I can actually use the stuff I spent money on that was just sitting in my drawer. First thing I used is this It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi face palette. You have the Bye Bye Pores Press Powder, Bye Bye Pores Blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. You have a powder highlighter in Je Ne Sais Quoi, and then you have the Sunshine in a Compact Bronzer. Highlighter is beautiful, gives you a really natural glow, but it doesn't emphasize texture. Um, I kind of wish they had this as a single because it is stunning. Uh, Bye Bye Pores Press Powder. I have the loose powder and I love it. This one, very much the same. This bronzer was really nice. It didn't blow me away. However, it gave a nice kind of warmth and I liked it. The blush in the palette, which is the Bye Bye Pores Blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi, I found it to be more sheer than the single Bye Bye Pore Blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. The, this one, I feel like you get a lot of pigment up front. This one, I had to build up a little bit more. And um, personally, I prefer that because the other one I can get a little heavy handed with and it's hard to blend out sometimes. This one, it was a sheer application. However, it did well and I enjoyed it. But it is the Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and I have shade 15.5 Light Bronze. I love this concealer. I absolutely love it. But the trick is using a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Um, for me, I feel like a quarter of a pea is enough with this and more than that, it can get very heavy. But if you use a little bit, spread it out kind of right where you need it, it's beautiful, it lasts all day. The It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Setting Spray. I bought this when it launched off their website and I don't know why, because I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't wearing makeup. I wasn't doing this yet. And it just sat in my drawer. So I tried it out today for the first time and it's really nice. Um, mist is very good. It does have kind of like a coconut smell, which I don't really love, but it's nice. It seems to work well. Setting spray is something I don't use all the time. I use it when I think about it, kind of like a primer. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. If I don't, my world isn't over. Lip gloss isn't new. It is the It Cosmetics Vitality Lip lip flush in News Inker Blue. I love this. I absolutely love this. Um, makes your teeth look whiter. Um, I will say my teeth are whiter than normal because last Friday um, I had them bleached at the dentist. So they are a lot whiter than normal and um, I like smiling now. It makes me feel confident. The ColourPop Lippy Pencil in another round. I love this. So it's like a more coral version of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and it's perfect. It glides on so easily and effortlessly, stays on well, and it's just a beautiful color. Um, I love it. And when this runs out, I will get another one and I want to try more of the color Pop Lippy pencils. That is it for today. I hope my review of the It Cosmetic CC Cream was helpful. Um, I hope those little mini reviews are helpful and yeah, I hope this is helpful. I hope you enjoy my content that I'm bringing out. And if you have any other products you want me to try review, please let me know in the description box below. And thank you all again for your continued support and sticking with me. Have a great day wherever you are. Bye.